So in today's lab, here are your materials. You're going to have a test tube rack, and in the test tube rack are six test tubes. They're labeled 1A, 2A, 3A, and then behind those, 1B, 2B, 3B. They've been pre-filled with liquid for you to test. You'll also see that you have iodine and you have Benedict solution, which are the two indicators we'll be using today. Also, you have goggles and a test tube holder to use when you work with the hot plate, which is right over here. So we're going to go ahead and get started by turning the hot plate on to heat up our water. After we've done that, we are going to start our Benedict's test because that will take a little bit longer. So we're going to look at 1A, I'm sorry, 1B, 2B, and 3B. We're going to add five drops of Benedict's to each of these test tubes. Okay, excellent. So you'll notice that the color is kind of a slightly blue clear color right now. What we're going to do next is we can grab these with our test tube holder and we're going to gently place them into our hot water bath that's been set up at our station. So make sure all three test tubes go in and those should be the green label test tubes. And we'll let those sit in the hot water bath. The other three test tubes we're going to test with iodine. So we're going to take the iodine and place a few drops in each of these and we're going to notice any color change. Okay? When you see the color change, you're going to make observations and record those in your data table. Once the test tubes have sat long enough in our hot water bath, what we're going to do is take them out using the test tube holders again, place them back into the test tube rack, and notice any color changes to record in our data table. To clean up, you're going to rinse all six test, tube, uh, test tubes out in the sink and then return them back to your station.